Hello. Shannon here. And I have a question for everyone. How many of you guys have tried to lose weight recently? I know I have. And I've done a pretty consistent program for the last couple of months. I've had people ask me in the past what I've done, and now I'm going to share those things with you guys. 2020 hasn't been a good year at all for many of us for many reasons. Personally, for me, I gained weight during quarantine because I couldn't go to the gym. Now there's no excuse. The gyms are open, but I still feel uncomfortable going to the gym. And the rules were pretty simple. Had to be something that was either cheap or free. It had to consist of doing workouts at home, either with things that I have or maybe no exercises. And it had to be something that could be attainable yet challenging, and something that you could build upon. And that's what I chose to do. So one of the things that I did was I planned my workout in the mornings to get up and start my day. And I used various applications as well and I'll be sharing those with you. The amount of water that I drink, because I tried to drink 32 ounces of alkaline water every day with the equivalent of at least 64 ounces of water a day. And that's one app that I use. I have the premium just so I can get a premium version will give you a wellness report that can generate from a year to even the shortest amount is 30 days to give you an overall report of how your health is looking. And it's a great baseline to see. And it's a good motivational tool. And Fitbit is completely free without that wellness report. Here's another nifty little app that many people don't really know is out there, but it's called 8. And this takes a emotional aspects of eating. The way that this app works is you take a picture or you send a text about your food. It's not more about focusing on the calories intake at this point. It's about looking at the emotional attachments or the situations you are in while you're eating. So, for example, this morning, I'm going to type in protein shake. And I had that at 8 o'clock this morning. I'm going to click for today's date. And I'm done. Now, you can either take a picture, and if you feel like this was something you were attaining, like, I wanted a protein shake this morning, so yeah, I feel that was pretty much on my path. It's going to log your times. And then at the end of the day, you hit your day recap, and you're going to start to pick up little trends of, okay, maybe I shouldn't have had that chocolate or that dessert or that sweet. And you can look at the times that you started slipping. So the whole point of this app is to look to see where patterns are developing. Were you stressed when you were eating that particular time? Is that why you were off track? This is another app that I use regarding the emotional aspects of food. And it's free. Look it up. It's called 8. I know that it's a complete application on iPhone or the Apple Store. And it's in betas for the Android. But you can still look it up and try it. Completely free. 
I will be doing weekly updates on my YouTube channel. And if you guys enjoy what you're seeing and you want an accountability partner, then go ahead and check out this channel. I'll be updating weekly. And if you guys enjoy it, that's awesome. If you want more information, check out some information and the details about specifically what I'm doing. Because I'm not going to share every little thing on here, but on my other applications, there are going to be things of exactly what I'm doing, what applications that I'm using, and how, how the progress is going. So I hope you guys enjoy. So one of the things that I do in it is I have these weighted gloves, which you can use when you go outside for jogging or on the treadmill. It's about some sand in here, I'm guessing maybe about a pound, maybe two at the most. But if you get this and add it into your Joy-Cons, it's additional weight that you're using to swing around, so that's going to further as well. If there's people out there that want an accountability partner, someone that's going to kind of hold them accountable, then I am your guy. And I will let you know the other apps that I'm using. We can use it together, stay in contact, and let's get through this. 2020 may be down for many people, but doesn't mean we have to be out. <laughs> 